Hello and welcome to Buck News. I'm Danielle Hensley. And I'm Ethan Hooper. Many of us don't know what it's like to have a disability, but it's up to us to help those who do. The Coastal Disabilities Ministry Summit is coming to Charleston Southern on Friday, September 23rd to equip and encourage anyone who is affected by disabilities. Whether your church has a fully established special needs ministry or you're considering getting one started, come out to hear keynote speakers Dr. Mike Bates, author of Disability and the Gospel, and Emily Colson, author of award-winning book Dancing with Max. It will be held in the Whitfield Center for Christian Leadership. You can call 843-863-7352 with any questions. CSU has many students who transfer here from other colleges. So if you or someone you know is a former ITT Tech student and considering furthering your education at CSU, there will be an information session on Thursday, September the 22nd at 6 p.m. The session will be held in the Hunter Center lobby. Contact the admissions office with questions at 1-800-974-7474 or visit their webpage. We would love to have you. And if you're not sure what your major will be, we are here to help. Last Tuesday, CSU hosted a career fair showcasing all the different majors our university has to offer. Buck News is there talking to students and professors who share tips on how to choose your career path. Morgan Peffer and Jacob Poole have that story. Every year, 20 to 50 percent of all students enter college with an undecided major and about 75 percent change their major at least once before they graduate. It's not a bad thing to be undecided, and students share why. God's going to call you to different things in your life, and really, his deadline is the only deadline. A lot of times you grow in college, so you might not have the exact plan that the Lord wants right away. So I think you should always keep an open mind to see if the Lord has something different for you. You should choose your major based on what you like to do and keep in mind the different options you have. Look at your previous coursework, look at the things that you've done and identify something that you have a passion for. Go to the Career Center. It could offer a lot of opportunities and give you a ton of knowledge about different careers that you can go into. We have a ton of possibilities and it doesn't hurt to just go seek out those opportunities and get a little bit of knowledge. Throughout the process of choosing your major, God plays a very important role. I would say just continue to pray and be in God's Word and see where He's leading you to and really think about the gifts that He's given you and how you can use them to glorify Him. Morgan Pepper, Buck News. Thank you, Morgan. Last week, our chapel speaker was Adrian Dupre, chaplain for the University of South Carolina football team. He talked about the ways we end up distant from God, particularly when we know God but don't pursue Him. The key to the first year is not how good you are, but that you're improving. You love God, and you're getting better a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit. It's not perfection. Nobody's perfect. This, this chair is still a bunch of knuckleheads, but, uh, uh, but they're improving and getting better. That's the key to the first year. The second year, they've kind of gotten used to God. They're not growing that much at all. It's dangerous. Dangerous. Dupre reminded everyone that we go through stages of feeling far from God, but our desire to change and be closer to God sets us apart. After such an inspiring chapel service, you might be looking for a Bible study. CSU has several student-led discipleship Bible studies. They're called D-Groups. If you'd like to get involved, go to charlestonsouthern.edu slash dgroups or email csudiscipleship at csuniv.edu. You can even sign up after Elevate and meet D-Group leaders there. 3D printing is becoming more and more common in businesses. Some of our classes actually have the ability to do 3D printing as well. On Thursday, Matthew Scott of Boeing will be on campus to talk about 3D printing technology. Scott will discuss the skills involved and ways 3D printing can help you find a job. The presentation is at 6 p.m. in the Physics Lab, Ashby Hall, room 107. You know, I didn't know we had 3D printing on campus. I didn't either, and it's pretty cool. Let's throw it over to Morgan for sports. Hi, I'm Morgan Pepper, and this is your CSU Sports Update. Last Tuesday, our Lady Bucks volleyball team traveled to Savannah State. Cater Lee led the Bucks with 13 kills. Klein added 12 kills and 6 blocks. CSU built large leads in all three of the sets, beating the Tigers 3-1. to Well, at the Bulldog Invitational over the weekend, the Bucks topped Savannah State once again, but fell short to Austin P, Elon, and the Citadel. They will be traveling to Presbyterian and Gardner-Webb later this week. The men's golf team placed 15th at the Invitational at Kiwa Island last week. Austin James finished one over par and tied for 25th in the field, while RJ Kerr was one under par and tied for 15th overall. Meanwhile, the women's golf team hosted the CSU Fall Invitational. The Bucks finished third in the field, while Shelby Thompson shot two under par to play second individually. And congratulations to the senior Shelby Thompson, who was named Big South Conference Women's Golfer of the Week. 
The Lady Bucks soccer team hosted the Nike Challenge 2 this past weekend where they beat Jacksonville State 1-0 and they fell short to Vermont 3-1. Junior Kelly Hinkle scored the game-winning goal against the Gamecocks for her first career goal of the season. They will be hosting UNC Asheville this Saturday at 1 p.m. Our Buccaneer football team had a bye week this past week. This Saturday, the 24th, they will be traveling to Monmouth University to take on the Blue Hawks. The game will be aired on ESPN3, kickoff 1 p.m. That was your CSU Sports Update. I'm Morgan Peffer. Go Bucks! It's a rainy week again in Charleston, so grab your rain boots. Highs are in the mid to upper 80s and lows are just barely in the 70s. And be prepared for some mornings in the upper 60s. Thunderstorms are forecasted every afternoon, so stay dry and pay attention to your buck alert. We're in the third week of September and that means third Thursday in downtown Somerville where shops and restaurants extend their hours and some even offer free hors d'oeuvres. It's a fun afternoon getaway with your friends to experience the heart of small town living. Once you're done eating all that free food, you might be looking to stay in shape and feel energized throughout the semester. The Brewer Center offers several fitness classes that will keep you moving. There are many options like circuit training, cycling and Zumba which are open throughout the semester. Try out the classes and decide which work for you. You can also bring out the competitor inside and sign up for intramurals. Current signups are for outdoor soccer, indoor volleyball, and three-on-three -three basketball. And signups for tennis start on the 28th. Game on. Want to make some extra cash this semester? The Alumni Office is hosting the Alumni Phonathon again this year, and they are looking for students who qualify for work study and can work three nights in a week. If you're interested, email alumni at csuniv.edu. Taking a look at social media, CSU alumni gathered on campus to reunite after 16 years. One of them actually went to their old dorm room, knocked on the door, and asked to visit. Campus Rec showed off their new dumbbell, so go get your workout on. And the CSU volleyball team had a fun game of Minute to Win It. Every week, we like to give you some interesting facts about CSU. This week, it's on us. Did you know that Buck News has been going on for only a year now? When we first began, the crew was comprised of only three students, and now we have 14 members. We also appeared on the cover of the latest issue of the school magazine, which featured the communication department. The show is already making a difference for students who are involved. Brandilyn Muldrow, former anchor, is now working at Channel 5. Our current anchor, Daniel Hensley, is interning at Channel 2. You can catch Buck News on the Charleston Southern Facebook page, the Charleston Southern YouTube channel, and on all campus TVs, including in your very own dorm room on Channel 25. And that's your Buck News for this week. To submit news, photos, or video, email bucknews at csuniv.edu. Have a great week and go Bucks!